Hi, we're here at the lake at Cromwell Quarry. We're going to be talking about a really common problem a lot of triathletes have in this video, which is around body position and buoyancy. I'm Helen Webster, I'm 220's editor, but I'm going to hand over now to Alan Ward from Tri Forward Coaching and also Justin, one of our swimmers. Thanks, Alan. Um, we're now here with Justin, and uh, what races have you got coming up? And just tell us a little bit about your swimming, please. Well, this is my first first season, well, first year of doing triathlon, okay. and I've got a 70.3 the Cotswold Classic seven days from now, in fact, well, okay. almost seven days from now. I haven't got much of a swimming background, apart from like learning to swim when I was young and then messing around with the kids on holiday. So it's been a bit, you know, it's a big learning curve. I've, from the small amount of coaching I've had that my sort of my hips and my legs kind of drag because I'm kind of quad heavy. So this is why I've been interested to, you know, find a wetsuit that A fits and has some good buoyancy to correct that. Okay, so a couple of points on why your legs might be going down. So essentially when you're swimming, so obviously you're trying to be in this horizontal position. As soon as you lift your head up, then your legs are going to drop. Often in open water, that can be just the, the coldness of the water. You can want to have your head out of the water a little bit. Obviously, lifting your head to breathe, but also lifting your head up really high to sight as well can cause that. The other reason from the front end, because it can be if you're pushing down with your hand, then that will lift and then your legs will drop. Next reason is holding your breath under the water. So obviously holding a lot of air in your lungs that can create buoyancy in the top end and lift it up. The next kind of reasons can be really with your, with your lower half. So with your legs, if you're, if you're kicking from the knee like this, then that thigh can cause drag and cause the bottom end to drop. The other reason with this end can be if your toes are pointed like so. So if they're dorsiflex rather than plantar flex, yeah. then that can cause drag and it can drop down. Or as we like to have these days, you know, we're always trying to look for the one answer. It could be a combination of all of those factors combined. So if you're doing a few of those things at any one point, obviously like big thing in open water is the sighting. So if you can minimize head lift when sighting, that can really help. So like top tip with that is trying to find something in the background that you can look for rather than looking for the small boys. So obviously here you can look over for the shipping containers on the far side, super big object, really easy to sight. So you can lift your head less. Um, so that's kind of the technical point, so we'll look at that a little bit when you get in the water. In terms of the, the wetsuit, obviously with this wetsuit you've got the aerodome fabric in the chest here is going to be really useful in terms of the buoyancy, keeping that body position nice and horizontal. So that should help with the top half, obviously you've got the thicker neoprene with the Predator model in, in the legs as well. So in terms of keeping those legs up and being able to minimise the amount that you have to kick, then that should really help. Um, you can kind of think of it, if you like, as almost like a pool boy type aid and a little bit of tension in your body. Drive the rotation, swim nice and fast, nice and efficient even, and then you should see a good swim over the middle distance. How much do you kick when you're swimming? Uh, very little. Okay. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. Because with the kick, obviously you've got like larger muscles in your legs. Yeah. Um, in terms of your propulsion as you're going through the water, your kick isn't going to give a huge return for the effort. Yeah. So in terms of like the total of your sort of swimming propulsion, maybe 10 or 15 percent of propulsion is coming from the legs, yeah. but it's costing you more like 90 percent if you like in terms of the energy. So your legs are quite inefficient, but hopefully with some nice buoyant material and that thicker neoprene in the legs you can just hot your legs will be in a better position and you can kick as little as possible which over the longer swims for the middle distance or Ironman distance that's going to really help you to sort of keep your heart rate down a little bit and just be more of a energy saving factor over that longer distance so you can maintain speed so if we can get you swimming really efficiently in a suit that works really well for you then that should make a, a big difference.
Okay, Justin, how was your swim? Um, yeah, really good. The tips that you gave me, and um, along that, along with this, you know, the new wetsuit and it's, you know, with its buoyancy features, it's um, it's really helped today. Okay, was there anything specifically in the coaching points that that really you think oh, yeah, I am going to use that going forwards? Yeah, definitely the um, the sighting tips and you know you know sighting with it affecting your stroke and your breathing. Um, so that's really important. Obviously, trying to minimise the the lift of your head can make a really big difference. Yeah. If you do have to, if the conditions, you know, if it's choppy or very windy yeah. and there's a bit of height on the water, or if you're in the sea, then obviously you may well need to lift your head. At times it might even be a good idea to, you know, if you've just gone round a buoy and you're going to another buoy to actually throw in a brush stroke, that can be suitable if it's yeah. really, really rough. Um, or indeed if the sunlight's really in your face and you just need to go, oh, I really need to sort out where I'm going, that's always going to be better to do that. Uh, and then obviously with your kicking, if you just try to make sure that you're in a rhythm with your kick and that's contributing to the rest of your stroke, mm -hmm. that can really help. So don't completely ignore your legs because we're trying to get the whole body to work together to swim well. So swimming is really important. It's a, it's a sum of the parts exercise. Thank you so much to Alan and to Justin, our swimmer there. And hopefully you've picked up some good tips that can help you with your triathlon as well. Now, if you want to find out more about the range of wetsuits, then go to zogs.com. And also you can visit one of our nationwide stockists to find out more about the wetsuits and also try them on and see if they're right for you.